Heading into the 2018 NASCAR season, the main question that was being thrown around in the NASCAR garage and in the community was this. When will Chase Elliott finally crack through for his first cup win? Well, we had to wait six months almost for that to ha happen. And finally, on August 5th, 2018 at Watkins Glen, that day finally happened in NASCAR history where Chase Elliott would get his first NASCAR Cup Series win. And today, before Christmas, the diecast has finally been released, and it is the elite, uh, the elite diecast. And um, I must say that you know, for the for this car and for this diecast itself, it is the most anticipated diecast in Lionel for 2018, and probably one of the most highly anticipated ever in the diecast uh, market. So right here is the production number of 2,181. Um, if you ask me, yeah, that's a little, a little high for an elite diecast. But yet again, for the ARCs, there are only less than 3,000 produced. So let's get with the uh, what comes with it. So you got the, uh, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series winner sticker. You get the. Uh, Elite Certificate of Authenticity, basically uh, a downsize from last year, where we would have the uh, the dim the, the the number marked down on with it. Uh, the Lionel Garage thing that comes in like every diecast, and the winner's card. And you can read the stats and info about the race right there. And a little uh, biography behind it. Now, for everyone that has come here for this video, what a beautiful car! Um, the blue on the camera it is lighter than what it usually is. Uh, in person, it is like a dark midnight blue. But holy crap, this car is absolutely beautiful. So, obviously, um, as uh, noted clearly on the windshield, you got the, uh, the wiper, just in case it were to rain, in which it didn't. Uh, Sun Energy One as the main sponsor. You got the Chevy Camaro right there. The Chevy Camaro ZL1, I should say. You got the standard contingencies. You got the beautiful, beautiful... Uh, orange chrome rims right there for the uh, Sun Energy 1 scheme. Uh, let's see for contingencies, Mechanic Wear, 3M, Flowmaster, Ingleson Rand, uh, Chase Elliott on the A post uh, with the Georgia State flag, and of course you got the uh, Witness sticker right there. The B pillar, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, and Simmons. Kelly Blue Book and Valvoline on the C post. Sun Energy One, Mountain Dew, and Napa. And on the back bumper, Sun Energy One, Camaro, Valvoline, ZL1, Chevy, and Nine, which you can barely see right there. Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid, and I have 1005 for my tin. Elliot. Sun Energy One uh, is the roof sponsor, and basically you can see a little damage right there from Jimmy Johnson as he was pushing him back to uh, the front stretch, and um, you know basically from rubbing when uh, he was being pushed by Jimmy when he ran out of gas, uh, obviously it created a little bit of damage, but um, but yeah, it pretty much you know. Is uh, visible obviously, and it pops out pretty well. And you got American ethanol on the uh, the core power right here on the uh, passenger side, since they pit from uh, the right side first. No, yeah, the right no. 
Wait. Yeah, they go around from the car, and then they come back to the side, and then obviously, yeah. But it's, it's very complicated road courses. But yeah. Anyways, other than that, right side is the same as left. Um, yeah, very, it's a very clean car. Um, obviously from the front end, you can see a substantial rubber buildup. And, um, obviously the windshield has the tear-offs on the one side. And, um, the wiper blade on dead center. And, uh, you know, you got, you know, the typical markings on the tires. And whatnot going down the side of the car. There's a lot of uh, buildup of rubber on the nine and down on the quarter panel, and even on the top of the car too. I'm just being as careful as possible with this because this is going straight into my uh, display case that I got with it, and uh, as well as with my tire that I got also from uh, his car. So that's definitely this will definitely be. You know, a big uh, add-on to my collection, for sure. And, um, yeah, so, if you're a Chase Alec fan, and you already have this on, if you already have this on uh, back order, or you're having it shipped to you right now, uh, definitely savor this, because uh, this will definitely um, be hard to find in the future. Um, as of right now, it's going to be like floating around on the market. But yeah, definitely a must-have for an Elliot fan. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. And make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future.